Welcome to our solar system, the home of our planet, Earth, along with seven other interesting and unique planets. Today, let's explore these eight planets to gain a better understanding of our planetary neighborhood. Thank you for watching and enjoy. First up is Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. This small world is a terrestrial type planet that orbits at an average distance of about 57.91 million kilometers, or 35.98 million miles from the Sun. Being the closest planet to the Sun, Mercury is a planet of extremes. With a diameter of just 4,879 kilometers, or 3,032 miles, Mercury is not much larger than our Moon, and the two actually look quite similar. This similarity is mainly due to the lack of atmosphere on both Mercury and our Moon. Rather than a perfect atmosphere, Mercury has a very thin exosphere composed mostly of oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium with trace amounts of other elements. The planet itself is composed primarily of a large metallic core, thought to be about the size of our Moon, surrounded by a silicate mantle and crust. The temperatures here are truly wild. During the day, they soar to about 427 degrees Celsius, or 800 degrees Fahrenheit, while at night, they plummet to a frigid minus 180 degrees Celsius, or minus 292 degrees Fahrenheit, giving Mercury the largest temperature range in the solar system. With gravity at just 38% of Earth's, if you weighed 100 pounds or 45 kilograms on Earth, you'd only weigh 38 pounds, or 17 kilograms, on Mercury. Interestingly, despite being so close to the Sun, ice has been found in Mercury's permanently shadowed craters. Mercury also has a highly eccentric orbit, meaning its distance from the Sun varies greatly, more than any other planet in the solar system. Mercury has no moons or rings. A sidereal day on Mercury or the time it takes for the planet to rotate once on its axis, is about 58.6 Earth days, while a year, or one full orbit of the Sun, takes Mercury just 88 Earth days. Next up is Venus, the second planet from the Sun. Venus, also a terrestrial-type planet, orbits at an average distance of about 108.2 million kilometers, or 67.24 million miles from the Sun. Venus is almost Earth's twin in size, with a diameter of about 12,104 kilometers, or 7,521 miles, but that's mostly where the similarities end. Venus's thick atmosphere, primarily composed of carbon dioxide, creates a runaway greenhouse effect that traps in heat, leaving the average surface temperature at a scorching 464 degrees Celsius, or 867 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to melt lead. The planet is shrouded in clouds of sulfuric acid, where the acid sometimes falls as rain, but evaporates before reaching the surface due to the extreme heat. The atmospheric pressure here is about 90 times that of Earth. With gravity at 91% of Earth's, you'd weigh 91 pounds or 41 kilograms on Venus if you weighed 100 pounds or 45 kilograms on Earth. The planet itself is composed of a central iron core and a rocky mantle, similar to Earth. Fascinatingly, Venus rotates in the opposite direction to most planets, a phenomenon known as retrograde rotation. A sidereal day on Venus lasts about 243 Earth days, and a year on Venus is 225 Earth days. This means a day on Venus is actually longer than a year. Venus also has no moons or rings. Next, our home planet, Earth. Earth is the third planet from the Sun, and is also a terrestrial-type planet that is located about 150 million kilometers, or 93 million miles from our star. Earth boasts a diameter of about 12,742 kilometers, or 7,918 miles, and has an atmosphere rich in nitrogen and oxygen, supporting the diverse range of life we see across the planet. Earth itself is composed of a solid iron core, 
a liquid outer core, a viscous mantle, and a solid crust. The average temperature is a comfortable 15 degrees Celsius, or 59 degrees Fahrenheit, and Earth is the only planet in our solar system known to have liquid water on its surface. With Earth's gravity being our standard, its gravity is 100%, meaning here, we just weigh what we weigh. Earth's diversity in climates and environments makes it unique among the planets. A day on Earth is 24 hours long, and a year lasts 365.2 days. Did you know that Earth is the densest planet in the solar system? Earth is also accompanied by one moon and no rings. Continuing our journey, we arrive at Mars, the red planet. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and is the last of the terrestrial-type planets. Mars is located about 228 million kilometers, or 142 million miles from the Sun. Mars is about half the size of Earth, with a diameter of 6,792 kilometers, or 4,220 miles. Mars has a thin atmosphere, composed mostly of carbon dioxide, with small amounts of other gases. This thin atmosphere struggles to retain heat, leading to chilly average temperatures of around minus 65 degrees Celsius, or minus 85 degrees Fahrenheit. The planet's composition includes a core made of iron, nickel, and sulfur, a silicate mantle in a crust rich in iron oxide, giving it its red color. Mars experiences fierce dust storms that can cover the entire planet and last for months at a time. Mars also has polar ice caps, similar to Earth. The gravity here is just 38% of Earth's, making you weigh 38 pounds, or 17 kilograms on Mars, if you weighed 100 pounds, or 45 kilograms on Earth. Mars also boasts the largest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons, a towering testament to the planet's volcanic past. A sidereal day on Mars is about 24.6 hours long, and a year on the red planet lasts 687 Earth days. Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos, and no rings. Mars also has seasons caused by its similar axial tilt to Earth making it even more intriguing. Now, we enter the realm of the gas and ice giants. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, is the fifth planet from the Sun and the first of the gas giants. This mighty world orbits about 778 million kilometers, or 483 million miles from the Sun, and has a staggering diameter of 142,984 kilometers or 88,846 miles. Jupiter's thick atmosphere is mostly composed of hydrogen and helium, and its temperatures average a frigid minus 110 degrees Celsius, or minus 166 degrees Fahrenheit. The planet is thought to have a core of rock, metal, and hydrogen compounds, surrounded by a layer of liquid metallic hydrogen and an outer layer of molecular hydrogen. Being a gas giant, there is no solid surface to stand on. Instead, churning gases make up the majority of this mighty world, and anything trying to land here would sink into its gas layers and experience a drastic increase in temperature and pressure as you sink deeper. Jupiter is famous for the Great Red Spot, a massive storm that has raged for centuries. With gravity at 240% of Earth's, you'd weigh 240 pounds, or 109 kilograms on Jupiter, if you weighed 100 pounds, or 45 kilograms, on Earth. Jupiter has many moons in its orbit, with 95 confirmed moons, including the four large Galilean moons. A day on Jupiter lasts just 9.9 .9 hours, and a year lasts 11.86 Earth years. Did you know that Jupiter's moon Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system, even bigger than the planet Mercury? Jupiter also has a faint ring system, composed of fine dust particles, making them difficult to see. Next up is Saturn, often referred to as the jewel of our solar system. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun, and also a gas giant. 
this mighty planet lies about 1.43 billion kilometers, or 889 million miles from the sun. This gas giant has a diameter of 120,536 kilometers, or 74,898 miles, and an atmosphere similar to Jupiter's, mostly containing hydrogen and helium. The average temperature of Saturn is about minus 140 degrees Celsius, or minus 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Saturn's stunning ring system is composed of countless ice and rock particles, ranging in size from a grain of sand to the size of a mountain. Saturn's complex ring system truly sets it apart in our solar system. The planet is believed to have a core composed of metals like iron and nickel, surrounded by rocky material and other compounds that have solidified under the immense heat and pressure inside this giant world. This core is also thought to be surrounded by a layer of liquid metallic hydrogen. Like Jupiter, there is no solid surface on Saturn, making it impossible to land on directly. With gravity at 108% of Earth's, you'd weigh 108 pounds or 49 kilograms on Saturn if you weighed 100 pounds or 45 kilograms on Earth. Saturn has the most moons of all the planets, with a total of 146 moons and counting. A day on Saturn is about 10 hours and 34 minutes long, and a year lasts about 29.5 Earth years. One interesting fact is that Saturn's moon Titan has lakes and rivers, not made of water, but of liquid methane and ethane. Titan also has a dense atmosphere of its own. Next, we journey to Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun, and the first of the ice giants. Uranus is located about 2.9 billion kilometers, or 1.8 billion miles from the Sun. Uranus has a diameter of about 51,118 kilometers, or 31,763 miles, and an atmosphere rich in hydrogen, helium, and methane, along with trace amounts of other gases. The planet's average temperature is a frigid minus 195 degrees Celsius, or minus 319 degrees Fahrenheit. Uranus is thought to have a core made of rock and ice, surrounded by a mantle of churning water, ammonia, and methane ices. As an ice giant, Uranus also has no solid surface. Anything trying to land here would slowly sink into its layers of dense, liquid icy materials. One thing that makes Uranus unique is its extreme axial tilt of around 98 degrees causing it to rotate on its side, leading to long and unusual seasons. With gravity at about 86% of Earth's, you'd weigh 86 pounds or 39 kilograms on Uranus if you weighed 100 pounds or 45 kilograms on Earth. Uranus also has faint rings and 28 confirmed moons, adding to its intrigue. A day on Uranus is about 17.2 hours long, and a year lasts 84 Earth years. Its extreme tilt causes Uranus to experience seasons that last over 20 Earth years each, leaving each of its poles with 42 years of continuous daylight, followed by 42 years of darkness, and vice versa. Finally, we reach Neptune, the eighth and farthest planet from the Sun. Like Uranus, Neptune is also an ice giant that orbits at an average distance of about 4.5 billion kilometers or 2.8 billion miles from the Sun. This ice giant has a diameter of 49,528 kilometers, or 30,775 miles, and an atmosphere of hydrogen, helium, and methane. The average temperature is a bone-chilling minus 200 degrees Celsius, or minus 328 degrees Fahrenheit. Neptune is known for its fierce winds, the strongest in the solar system, reaching speeds of more than 2,100 kilometers per hour, or 1,300 miles per hour. The planet is thought to have a core made of rock and ice, surrounded by a mantle of water, ammonia, and methane ices. Being an ice giant, there is also no solid surface on Neptune. With gravity at 114% of Earth's, you'd weigh 114 pounds, or 52 kilograms on Neptune if you weighed 100 pounds or 45 kilograms on Earth. 
A day on Neptune lasts about 16.1 hours, and a year is 165 Earth years. Did you know that Neptune's moon Triton is one of the coldest objects in the solar system and has geysers that spew nitrogen gas? Neptune has six rings and 14 confirmed moons. Neptune's blue color and dynamic atmosphere make it a captivating end to our journey. These are the eight planets in our solar system. From the scorching surface of Mercury to the icy winds of Neptune, each planet has its own unique characteristics and mysteries. Looking at the harsh conditions of the other planets, it truly makes me grateful to exist in the chaos of space on our home planet Earth. I am also very grateful to be able to share a moment here with all of you. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure to the eight planets in our solar system. I'm glad to have you here. If you enjoyed it, feel free to show your support with a like or by sharing this video with other curious minds. Your support truly goes a long way and it helps others find and enjoy these adventures through space. I am also forever grateful for the support from this community and I can't thank you enough. I would also love to hear your thoughts in the comments below and if you would like to join me on more cosmic journeys, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on the next one. Thanks again. Until next time, take care and be well.